Hello everyone and welcome to another video. My name is Francesco and what I do in these videos is break down productivity tips, tools and techniques to help you move forward with your productivity. So what I'll be doing is asking Alon a series of questions um, and this is about the application called Scribble Post. And essentially, this is a new take in the productivity market. It is a really interesting application that I've been lucky enough to be playing around with. Um, it's currently in private beta, and I'm so far really, really impressed by the service. So what I wanted to do, and I don't do this very often, is I wanted to ask the CEO himself a few questions about how they're kind of planning with the service, how they're organizing all of their strategy, and also how they plan to kind of uh, give you the best experience. So let's get stuck into a few questions uh, with Alon. So uh, Alon, I didn't want to introduce you uh, too much to everyone, so I want you to introduce yourself. Um, please do tell me a bit more about yourself and also your role at Scribble Post. Hi, okay. Um, so. I mean, I'm the founder and CEO of Scribble Post. Um, I have been in the startup game for quite a long time, and actually, in particular, I've been in the um, productivity software space for the last, well, going on 15, 16 years now. Um, so I've been involved in the deployment of um, you know, third-party productivity software, as well as um, you know, three, four packages that um, I've been uh, chief technology officer for. Um, over that 15-year, um, 16-year span. Uh, and we did this in, in all kinds of companies, so um, ranging from you know, the very small um, all the way up to large multinationals with you know, large deployments involving hundreds or even thousands of people. Um, so you know, <laughs> I've got the scars on my back from trying to solve that productivity problem. Fantastic. So. Alon's actually joining us from Australia right now. Uh, that's where Scribble Post is based. So as you can imagine, it's currently the UK uh, late evening. And uh, you guys, what what time is it there? Uh, for us, it's 9, nine o'clock in the morning. 9 o'clock in the morning, well. So two ends of the spectrum here. Um, but what I want to ask for the second question is, I guess, with Scribble Post, um, I mean, as I said, got to play around with it a bit more, really liking it as a tool and experience. What's your mission with Scribble Post? What's the uh, really high goal for you guys to reach? What's, what's the thing that drives you every day? Well, um, you know, really it's about helping people achieve more. Right? So um, the, the kind of the fundamental mission at the heart of, of Scribble Post is about achieving more and helping people achieve more. Um, and, and just to kind of expand on that a little bit, um, you know, what, what we found, and certainly what I found in my travels, is that you know, people in general, they work hard. Right? They work hard, and as part of the work that they do, um, you know, it, it sort of tends to break down into two types of things. Right? There's, there's the actual achieving of the core outcomes they need to achieve, right? the products they need to make, the services they need to provide, the relationships they need to create. Those are the fundamental outcomes that people need to generate, and it's part of their work today. Uh, but then there's this other body of work, right? And that other body of work is basically the admin or management that people need to do in order to achieve those core outcomes, right? That's that's tracking the tasks that you need to take care of. That's making sure that things get done by the right time. It's making sure you don't drop the ball on things, not forgetting things, making sure you're keeping adequate notes about things. Um, and, and so that work is not really directly value adding. It's not the thing that creates the outcome itself, right? That work is effectively kind of busy work, administrative work. It's really work about work, right? It's red tape. Um, and um, it turns out that, uh, you know, people end up devoting an inordinate amount of time to that busy work, right? And I think, uh, you know, just, just to sort of point out uh, one example that I think everyone can immediately relate to is just email. And if you just think about how much time you're spending during the work day, just sifting through email, searching through email, reading email, replying to email, et cetera, et cetera. Um, you know, made, like there's studies out there that are finding that people spend as much as a third of their work day on just literally just email processing. Um, and so if that's not, if you're not being paid specifically to sift through your emails, um, that's actually a lot of you work there to devote to something that's not your core outcome, right? Um, so when we say school post is about helping people achieve more, it's because we're trying to take that layer of admin, 
right? That, that necessary but not necessarily value adding part of your work and just make that as absolutely efficient and streamlined as humanly possible. And as much as possible actually to make it pleasurable rather than something that you need to feel like, oh my God, like, I need a lot of discipline to get through my day, right? We want something that like in the end sort of produces a bit of a quantum step forward um, in terms of just letting you get on with the things you're actually getting paid to do. With, I mean, the next question here is, you touched on it near the end. Uh, with Scribble Post, how, how does it differentiate from other productivity applications that are out there at the moment? Um, mm -hmm. is, is there something that brings it out compared to them? Um, how, how do you compare it to those guys at the moment? Right. Um, so, look, <laughs> of course, from my perspective, there are thousands of ways in which we differentiate from, from the other uh, systems out there. Uh, but, but, you know, let me boil it down to just maybe two really critical things, right, um, that are really sort of at the heart of what we've designed for. Uh, so, so the first thing is um, that, you know, we ultimately, we model scribble posts on the way people naturally scribble on paper, right? So, you know, what we're finding with the other tools um, and the other systems that are out there, they're really based on, you know, kind of, you know, a completely a software engineering mindset, right? So if, if you, you know, if you have a task that you need to register, you end up, you're pushing a new button and up comes like a form and then you're busy filling out the form. This is the description of the task. These are the details. This is who owns it. This is when it's due. This is how important it is. And you're basically just filling out field after field after field. And when you're done, you press OK. Now, that doesn't feel very natural. It's also not a very natural way to communicate with other people, right? Uh, it's just the software engineering mindset of, like, this is how information ought to go into a system, right? So it effectively makes you work the way the system wants you to work, right? And if you compare that with sort of your typical experience of just scribbling on a piece of paper, completely different animal, right? Like when you're scribbling on a piece of paper, it's not the paper telling you what to write or how to write it or how to structure it. It's just whatever's in your mind. If you want to jump from idea to idea to idea, the paper doesn't stop you. If you want to, in a meeting, take notes where you're describing like, well, Bill said this and Sarah said that and Susan said this other thing. And by the way, here's an action item. Here's another action item. There's an issue that was raised, right? Um, well, you can just capture it in, in a, literally in a stream of consciousness as it happens, as it unfolds, as you think about it, bang, you can put it down, right? And for Scribble Post, the, you know, one of the most fundamental design goals was the way you would scribble it on a piece of paper, that freedom, that flexibility, that fluidity, that's what we want to offer you inside Scribble Post. So, so that's the first thing. The second thing, and I think this is, this is actually the bigger and more important point, is that Scribble Post is not a tool and it's not an app. It's actually designed as a network from the ground up. And I'd like to kind of expand on that a little bit and just drill down on it because it is really, really uh, fundamental to what we're really trying to achieve here. A lot of the tools that are out there, the systems that are out there that deal with productivity, um, they take one of two views of the world. Right. They either sort of view the world as like, well, this is your own personal to-do list. So I don't care about the rest of the world. It's just you. It's your notebook. It's your to-do list, um, whatever. Or they take a um, view of the world, right? Like this is the way that my team or my company manages its tasks or manages its issues or manages its notes and, and knowledge sharing. Right? But the problem is that in the real world, your productivity is rarely anchored just to you. And rarely is it limited just to your team either, right? Productivity actually involves all the people that you need to work with on a daily basis, right? It, it involves uh, your clients. It involves your suppliers, the contractors. It even involves like family and friends and maybe the renovator who's working on your house, right? So it turns out that productivity in a very fundamental way is actually, it's, it's a network issue and it's not, it's not, determined by your company necessarily, it's determined by you personally and all the people you need to interface with in order to get things done, in order to achieve the core outcomes you're after. Right? So the problem is that if you then have software that says, okay, well, you know, we're going to make you more productive, we're going to keep track of tasks, but by the way, we're only going to do that for your immediate team of colleagues, right? Well, you know, you're going to be missing out on at least three quarters of the kind of the information that needs to be tracked. Right. And I would actually argue that it's probably what you're tracking is likely to be the less important stuff, right? So that the stuff that you communicate with your team through a tool 
Well, you know what? Like oftentimes, actually, you could just look up over your cubicle and yell that to someone else, right? But the information that you're exchanging with clients, that is high value information that you cannot drop the ball on ever, right? The same is true with suppliers. If you're dealing with suppliers and you're assigning them work or you're requiring services that need to be done at a particular date, right, uh, to a particular level of quality that needs to sort of be checked off, and that, oftentimes your success actually depends directly on, on your suppliers and your contractors performing their duties to, to what was agreed and what was required, right? So, so it's these external relationships that matter actually a lot and, and likely matter more than tracking what's been communicated in the team. So, so we find that what ends up happening with kind of the, the, the tools that are generally out there in the market right now is that because they're sort of so focused on, on just you or just your team and because they kind of pretend that the rest of the world doesn't exist, well, what ends up happening is that you put a lot of effort into kind of keeping them up to date but as soon as you're dealing with any of these other people, your, your clients, your suppliers, your contractors, the only thing you can do is fall back on email, right? And so now the most important communication that you have is just traveling through email all the time. And, you know, I, I probably don't need to convince you that email is a really terrible tool for actually managing high value information, right? Um, so, so, so this is for us, you know, really the kind of the most fundamental part of what Scribblepost was designed for was the idea that you know we're not a productivity tool, we're a productivity network. And in fact, we want to be your personal productivity network. We want to make sure that anyone you work with, anywhere in the world, whether they're in your business or not, you can exchange information easily with them through Scribblepost, and Scribblepost will help you track that information and help make sure that you, know, you don't drop balls, that your suppliers don't drop balls, that engagements with your clients are appropriately managed, and so on. So, yeah, the differentiators, like I said, um, modeled on the way people naturally scribble on paper, and that we're the world's first productivity network. I agree with both of those. Um, I really like the way that, so for number one, with, with the actual ability to scribble, um, when Paul, your colleague, showed me the actual, uh, in the tutorial, um, mm -hmm. when he was demoing it, I, I literally, obviously, uh, just give my feedback straight away. I said to him, "This is this is the closest thing um, that I've seen to paper so far," um, <laughs> which was really great because. And and you're right, it it does replicate that experience. And what's nice as well is with those other productivity apps, you you do struggle when you're inputting all of the context around it. There's a different box for everything, um, mm. and. What's nice, and what a lot of people will see with Scribble Post, uh, is that it, it it just gets everything in at one time, uh, and I, I I like that when I was testing it. Um, and then and then the second thing there, um, that is a huge issue in productivity at the moment. Uh, a lot of people are talking about Slack, um, whether Slack will solve all the problems, um, but again, it it's not an open network um, like your concept Scribble Post is. So. Again, yeah. this is this is something really hot at the moment and uh, talked about a lot. So, no, that that's really great. Um, and that leads well, me to the yeah. Go on, sorry. Oh, sorry, um, I was uh, sorry to jump in, but uh, actually, I was going to say on the on the topic of Slack. Um, you know, I mean, we, we love Slack. Actually, it's a, it's a great tool. Um, you know, I, I would say you know that in, in the case of if you're comparing us with something like Slack, um, actually, like in the first place, I would say. Um, consider school posts as sitting kind of side by side with Slack anyway, right? Not not necessarily as a replacement of Slack, uh, but also um, you know that that Slack like the focus for Slack is really very much about communications. Um, and Scribble Post, while it has a very strong communications component, ultimately it's about getting things done. Right? Our focus is very much about making sure that um, you know you're well organized and that the information you need in order to get through your work day is always at your fingertips, right? Um, and so, so that, that, that really is kind of at, at the heart of at the heart of Scribble Post. Yeah, I can see that Scribble Post would complement Slack quite nicely. Um, mm. Definitely, for sure. Mm. Um, the next question would be: so, from your past experiences in business and 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 working in those kind of productivity apps and packages uh, in the past. Where do I mean? Where do you see Scroll Post expanding to? What's the first audience you want to kind of reach with 
um, scribble paste? Well, look, the, the first audience we want to reach are really um, fundamentally people who have, you know, are already thinking about their own productivity and who are looking for solutions in this space, right? We, we think that, you know, if, if you're the kind of person that's already kind of actively trying out different, you know, task management systems, issue management systems, to-do lists, um, maybe you're using different kinds of notebooks, like you've been through Evernote and OneNote, um, maybe you're trying different communication platforms because you're hoping that this is going to simplify how you relate to people in your team or how you relate to your, your customers and your suppliers. Um, if you fall into any of those buckets, um, then we think that you know, Scribble Post will be kind of of immediate use and immediate. It'll it'll immediately make sense. Right? Um, I mean, ultimately, we think that um, you know if if you um, have important things that you need to get done, um, you know. Scribble Post can add value, but that first, the first audience that we're really trying to address ourselves to are people who are already actively thinking about it, uh, because we think that um, if if you've sort of seen what's out there and um, you've, you've you've actively tried to solve for that problem and you see Scribble Post, hopefully you'll get immediately why we're different, and um, hopefully you'll you'll sort of see the value of Scribble Post immediately. Awesome, um, and then. For your team and Scribble Post itself, where do you, I mean, the ideal situation 12, 12 months from now, where do you guys see yourself in terms of a team and a company? Right. Um, so let me, let me just go on my crystal ball. Uh, <laughs> um, look, uh, let, me, let me take that sort of back a step and, and just sort of say, um, you know, as I said at the beginning, I've been in, in the productivity game for a long time. Um, and, you know, I have built multiple solutions in the past. Um, and, and I have worked with just about every third party, like every major third party solution in the space. I've deployed it in real companies. I've tried, I've been there, right? Um, and, you know, what that process has done is it's, it certainly humbled me, right? Um, because it turns out that you know, productivity is just, it's, an, it's actually an awesome challenge that's not to be underestimated. Mm -hmm. um, and, and the reason for that is, is that um, it's, not, it's not purely about technology, right? It, it isn't just a thing where like, okay, let's slap an app on that and we're done. Uh, because in the end, uh, you know, well, there's so much, there's so many human factors that, that play into it, right? There's, there's, you know, the particular business culture that the software needs to go into, right? And business cultures vary massively from company to company. Um, there's different work styles, both at the individual level and at the team level. There are different methodologies. There are different political realities in, in companies and between companies, right? Um, so, so, and then, and that's before we've even started talking about just like individual preferences for how you like to just work, you know, like maybe you're a sort of a highly disciplined person that wants things you know, nicely, neatly in buckets and, you know, nicely categorized and labeled. Or maybe you're sort of more of a kind of a free thinker who just wants to kind of, um, you know, ha have it out there somewhere but kind of have a little bit of disorganized, like a little bit of, you know, creative chaos going on, right? So, so th there's just such a vast spectrum of the way people work and the way the circumstances in which they work. So, so to create a software product that actually works for people, irrespective of their situation, right? That essentially adapts to the way they like to work and the way they need to work. Um, well, that's that's a formidable, that's a tough challenge, right? So, um, so with Scribble Post, you know, ultimately that's that's what we're going after. We're, we're trying to create something that um, you know will sort of mold itself to to the way that you like to work and present the information the way you like to work and allow you to capture the information the way it makes sense to you, right? Um, but we do recognize that, that this, is going to be, this is going to be a really tough challenge. So if you're asking me kind of what am I hoping for in the next 12 months, um, actually most fundamentally what I'm hoping is that Scribble Post won't just attract a user base, right? I, I, I'd like to kind of, I'd like for the people who use Scribble Post not to just be thinking of themselves as like, well, I, I use Scribble Post. 
Um, I, I, you know, really would love to think that the, the people who are going to ultimately jump on Scribblepost, that they're going to think of themselves as part of a wider community because we, we all struggle with this, right? Um, everybody that wants to do well at work, everyone that wants to achieve more, um, ultimately is part of a global community of people who are looking for solutions and who've recognized that like what's out there right now is just not enough, right? Um, and so, so you know, ideally, I'd like Scribblepost to be kind of at the heart of this community, and I'd love, I'd love for that community to, to first of all, uh, be incredibly proactive with us, right? So, um, you know, the more that we hear back from the community, the more that people sort of say to us, you know, listen, guys, like, I can see some promise in this, but you haven't quite covered it for me yet. You know, I need this, or I need that, or in my particular circumstance, let me tell you a little bit about how I work. This is how I work. This is why School Post is not yet doing what I really needed to do. The more that we get kind of pushed and pulled by the community, and the more that the community feels that this is ultimately kind of a, you know, something that um, is is for them, right? Um, you know, I, I think the the faster and the strong, the, the faster School Post will become that that solution that we really want it to be, that productivity network for the world, right? Um, and, and as well, you know, as part of that community, you know, because again, um, that there are so many human factors that go into being productive, not all of them are purely on technology, you know, They're, it's also to do with methods and experience and know-how. Um, so, you know, we ultimately, we want to foster a community for people who, um, you know, who are interested in the space um, and who'd like to sort of share tips and tricks, who'd like to exchange know-how, who'd like to have like-minded people across the world where they can sort of reach out and, 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 and share some of that experience. And so, so aside from simply providing a software product, um, you know, again, we're trying to build up a community. We're going to be putting out user forums where people can exchange these ideas and tips and tricks and sort of really talk about like, well, you know, this is the challenge I'm having at work. Has anyone else had a similar challenge? And then, you know, for people to be able to sort of come in and say, yeah, actually, I, ha I have had that challenge and, you know, here's how I've solved it. And, I mean, hopefully, here's how I've solved it with school posts, right? <laughs> Great. I really appreciate your time today, Alan, uh, with answering all the questions. Uh, and I only have one more question. Um, but before that, I just want to say that I really like the way that Scribble Post at the moment has the values in place ready for everything, because obviously you understand that market. You understand what people want in terms of productivity, that culture, that community around it. Um, and that's what's driving my YouTube channel at the moment, uh, which is which is fantastic. and. I think the mechanics are in place for it as well. Um, so just touching on that, um, how can someone uh, get started, get involved in the community, uh, potentially sign up for the application? I mean, let's say someone's watching this and they're like, wow, Scribble Play sounds amazing. How do I get started? Um, how would they get started and, and where do you want to push them? OK, so look, step one is uh, just jump on scribblepost.com. Um, and register, right? So if if you go to the homepage there, um, there's there's you know unsurprisingly there's a little um, registration box. Uh, so please give us your email address and register. Uh, Scribble Post is in private beta at the moment, which means that uh, when you first register, you'll go on a wait list. Um, and you know we, we're working hard to bring people into the software now as uh, you know at a reasonable speed, but we we are being measured about it because. Um, we do want to make sure that the early users who are coming in today, that they have a great experience and that we can, as a company, that we can be super responsive to any questions and any feedback that we get from people. Um, so each week we're bringing in, you know, cohorts of people, sort of groups of people, making sure that they're comfortable and settled, and then we bring in the next group and the next group and the next group, right? So we're just really sort of working to, to provide a good experience um, and to, as I said before, kind of you know, allow time for people to actually give us feedback and, and help us um, shape the product in the best way possible. So, um, so, so please register. Um, once you've registered, um, uh, you will in, um, you know, probably a matter of days, um, but could be a little bit longer, so it depends on our algorithms, um, you will get an invitation to join the founding member program, right? Um, and the founding member program is really for people who are very, like, they're dead keen to be part of that first wave. Um, and who you know who really want to take a very active role in, in you know talking to the company, um, you know talking to us, um, you know uh, the founders, the developers, and and sort of very directly sharing feedback and experiences and thoughts. 
So if that sounds like you, then uh, you know, please keep an eye out for an invitation to join the founding member program. And once you get it, uh, please sign up for that as well. Um, and and that will kind of get you going. Uh, otherwise, if, if you're not sort of a super early adopter, um, that's also not a problem. Again, just register on our website, and um, over time you will get an invitation to actually join the system um, and, and sort of jump in. But you may wait a little bit longer in that case. Perfect. So as, as well, probably to add on top of that, um, if you do want to follow Scribble Post on Twitter, is it there? You guys are at Scribble Post as well. Because um, I think that will be that will be valuable because I think people are yeah. already talking about the product and the community around it there. Um, so it will be important for you guys to understand the engagement that's going on um, mm -hmm. and, and, and also allow you to uh, communicate with um, Alon and, and push any questions you have. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Awesome. So I really appreciate your time. As I said before, imagine you know you guys in Australia um, doing working really hard on this project product at the moment. So I really appreciate your time, Alon. No, thank you. Thanks for having me on. Awesome, fantastic. Anyway, everyone, uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will be covering Scribble Post when it's launched, of course, um, and obviously all the other apps that I cover. So thank you very much, everyone. Make sure to have a great week, keep productive, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.